Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, finally. See, seen a lot of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Very nice car. Thank you. So how much power are you running? 600, probably in cooler air than today. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring. Beautiful sunny day. We have a couple of hours of TEF. So we're gonna go later, check out the car park and some cool cars. Also do some laps maybe. But first, I want to tell you more about some very special Porsche that I saw last night. So met a fella named Rob in Linder Hotel and then uh, yeah, well see for yourself what kind of special mod he has because it's a GT3 RS suited for a wheelchair user. We are right now in a GT3 RS. You might be thinking, ah, dime a dozen GT3 RSs at the Neville Cream, but this one is quite special. So let's give it a startup. There's a little button over here. There's a nice lever here to pull the parachute because it drag race a car. No, just kidding. This is actually the brake. And here is the accelerator that you put on your finger, uh, like this, and you can actually be very gentle and smooth. That's amazing. How many laps have you done already? 25. 25. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I only met you now at Linder of all places, but hopefully you're gonna come back on September and we can do some laps. Definitely, yeah, I'll take you out. That's awesome. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope that we will get to do some laps with Rob later in September when he comes back. But now, back to the day. And we have another quite a special car here. Looks like a Polestar. And it is kind of Polestar. How are you doing? It is, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, it, it is a uh, 2019 Volvo S90 uh, that's been Polestar optimized. Uh -huh. And it has a custom stainless steel uh, catback ex exhaust. Yeah. It's quite rare in these because people want to keep them quiet. For sure. And <laughs> then it has a Yadu 88 cold air induction kit. Nice. And otherwise, quite just a normal S90. Yeah. But a maximum body kit, ABOC Pro 2 kit. Uh, black parts here and there so uh, it is yeah. a similar uh, look as a Polestar 1 it is and uh, because the yeah, Polestar 1 at the end of the day is kind of based on this platform I believe yes, yes. just a bit different from bumper but basically it's a two-seater S90 yeah so this has a bit uh, smaller brakes than, than the one yeah, yeah. but also probably less weight how much does it weigh uh, <laughs> <laughs> similar it weighs a bit uh, I think the the gross weight is 2.2 ton wow. on the car so it will be pretty uh, interesting to see how it copes with the track. <laughs> nice. So, uh, got the initial uh, pilot support for S's, uh -huh. so those shouldn't be a problem. The I, most I, important I, symbol, of course, yeah, as a yeah, Volvo the, owner. The Swedish Ferrari. Yes, SF. with SF. SF90. That's It's basically an SF90. No, that's amazing. It sounds very good. When I approached here, I'm like, uh, well, that sounds yeah. quite badass. Uh, as, as it is in idle, uh, it's quite hard to get it to sound cool yeah. since it doesn't let you spool uh -huh. but as it is a super turbo so it has a uh, has a screw and it has a turbo so when you start punishing it ah, it sounds really, it sounds really, really good really nice. so hopefully maybe we can do a lap later with yeah, it yeah 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 that, if that, not today but yeah tomorrow, that, that, today, that would that. be awesome that would be yeah, awesome yeah. i have to now r run for my instructions yeah, but yeah. this looks really sick and you said already that more people taking pictures of this than of some other yeah, Porsches yeah, which is really weird <laughs> it's really weird since it is just the Volvo for me so. yeah for you but for many people also when I had Polestar 1 so it's it stands out here maybe it wouldn't stand out in Sweden but uh, uh, or here. in Finland either so yeah can I have a look inside yeah, of course it looks like it's been driven for 2,000 kilometers with a proper, without a proper detail yeah but, uh, but the interior looks like very similar to Polestar 1 it does, I mean it's because Basically and it's good. Is, yeah. So last one more thing, what's the power output of this? Uh, it hasn't been dynoed, but it is the, the best guesstimate is, is somewhere around 450, 470 horsepower. Wow, so yeah, that's good. It is enough for And it's for a hybrid. Day. And yeah, it's a hybrid, it, it's right? It's a hybrid, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get to do some laps and yeah, yeah. see you later. See ya. Bye. Thanks, man. <laughs> Hope you had fun. You guys had fun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I guess the taxi is done for today. I'm also done with all the obligations. Had to do a bit more laps than expected. So we have only like 20 minutes left till the track closes. And I really want to get there to show you something special because there's a E39 M5 meeting. It's probably my favorite M5 series. 
together with what well, E34. More on that later. And here's also another very special MX-5 from one of our hotel guests. Look at all the carbon fiber, all the aero, like the outlets, big brake kit, AR1 tires, and here also extra big wing, quite big for an MX-5. Very nice. And tomorrow we'll be going for a lap in that. But first, let's go to the car park. Love the pre-cooling feature on the Polestar, especially on this hot day. Let's keep it cool while I'm gone. I like how it says that it's parked at the new Nordschleife entrance. Hmm, that's nice. Good evening, Mason. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Great fan of your YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you. You having fun? Uh, yeah. Yes, good. some nice, fairly quiet laps. Good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, today's quite nice. It is. Yeah. Cool. Well, enjoy. See you. See you around. Before we go to the E39 meeting, as a Mark IV X owner, I definitely appreciate this carbon fiber contraption. Nice. Built for race, not for show. I approve. Carbon fiber trunk, even. Nice. MR2 with historic plates. Oh no, lost the blinker. Probably sent it to heart. Ah, it's a Dacia Sandero. But now let's check out the reason why I'm here. Not the M5 CS, but all the E39s. Actually, a lot of them unfortunately left already because there were literally hundreds of them. Gorgeous. Look at that, all the way from Iceland. That's so cool. Ah. Well, this one is supercharged, I believe. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Look at that wastegate. Oil cooler. Big get the cooler down there. Gorgeous. And with big power comes big responsibility. It's a big brake kit. This is a twin supercharged M5. Twin supercharged? From Iceland. Wow, so one is supercharger is not enough, huh? I don't know if you saw Stretton's post. Yeah, yeah. Big 50th anniversary yeah. thing. This guy brought his from Iceland. Cool. Uh, two Icelanders. That's the other one. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that, that's so awesome. Yeah, uh, he's around here, but he'll tell you all about his... Yeah, he, he was actually staying at our hotel, but I didn't have to... Oh, have Thor? Yeah, yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. have the time to uh, to catch him. But that's cool. It's, it's an old car, actually. 2008, I think he put this in. Really? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, finally. See, seen a lot of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Very nice car. Thank you. So how much power are you running? 600 probably in cooler air than today. Yeah. But it's uh, quite hot. Yeah, nice. It's, uh, it's fun though. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is uh, just too big and heavy to... Yeah, for the track. Yeah. I found that out in 2007, so I got an E30 M3. Yeah. So that's... Uh, nice. That's the one getting the uh, V10. Really? E30 and 3 V10? With the DCT. Wow. So that's, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. That you should take here then. Oh yeah. yeah we we should take I it. mean, we just finished the rebuild on this one. Changed okay. the oil. And put so, it on so, so what was the rebuild? Just like the whole engine or something? Well, it started by, we're going to take it out, rebuild yeah. it as cheaply and quickly as possible. Uh -huh. But it escalated to a complete front-end refurb. I mean, you're not a car guy, things don't escalate, right? No, just escalated. <laughs> and we were not going to touch the rear end of it, but it ended in a full rebuild of the rear end. So, like the, the chassis, or I mean, the suspension components on the rear? Yeah. Everything. Just things. I mean, it's a 99 model. I daily did for 10 years in Iceland. Yeah. Year round. Nice. So, it, there was some rust here and there. So. Wow. But it's almost too new. Condition. Really cool. And then you end up on the back seat of a 600 horsepower M5. It was kind of unexpected, so I didn't have my normal GoPro setup with me. So it's gonna be fun. I love the shoes on your mirror. <laughs> yeah, they have to remind me of my daughter, not to go too fast. I like that. So. She had those yellow ones when she was little. Huh? Similar ones.
guess you had to remove the aircon with the supercharger or? Oh, it's, it's <laughs> Right. I'll have the phone. <laughs> yeah, it's a better relic. Yeah. That was certainly an experience. Nice catch in Schweden <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all those winters in Iceland, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> so, Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for this experience. Yeah. 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 There, it's fixed with tape. If you cannot fix stuff with tape or WD-40, you cannot fix anything. Whew. Well, as mentioned, that was quite an experience. Good that we caught it. It was way too hot, and today is like 34 degrees, but uh, still fun. Loved it. it. Would be nice to see what the car can do on better tires, and probably also more suitable suspension. Um, I guess that's it. That's all I have to show for you for today, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. Something on the Nurburgring. So enjoy. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow. Bye.